Hey guys, even here, and I have a couple of news for you today, so let's go with the most recent one, this one right here. This happened only a couple of hours ago, and this is classic physique division at the Romania Pro. Romania Pro is of course a Mr. Olympia qualifier, and whoever wins the show will be competing in the Mr. Olympia. But of course, this right here is just classic physique, the Open is going to happen later tonight, and as soon as it happens, I will update you guys as soon as I get some footage of it, and as for now, let's talk about the classic physique. So as you can see, this is your top 4, and it's very obvious the top 2 is going to be Arash Rakbar and Danny Yudin, and the other two guys, I don't really know their names, and I'm too lazy to check them out, so I know about Danny Yudin and Arash Rakbar, who are top Olympia competitors. And as for now, from what I can see right here, I think Arash is leading. I think Arash is a little bit sharper, and I guess that's about it. He's just more conditioned and uh, has better polish. Danny seems a little bit bigger, especially through the legs, and maybe even for the back, because this guy is known for having an amazing back. I just saw a video that he posted on his IG, and I was really amazed by his back, but when they turn around, because of the sharpness of Arash, Arash's back looks even better, I will show you that in a moment. But right now you're watching his posing routine and you can see that he's in a really good shape. I think this is better than Mr. Olympia. He seems sharper, he seems just very very good. I mean, I didn't really expect him to look this good. I actually didn't even know that he's competing this weekend. And this is a surprise for me, but really the, the physique is looking really good. Look at the glutes, the hamstrings, everything is there. He's really spot on. Very very good Arash Akbar. If he was like this in the Mr. Olympia, I think he would place higher. Maybe he would crack the top, top 4. Really, I mean, look at this. His back is looking very dominant here, actually. Arash is actually known for not having a great back. He's heavily criticized for it. That and the size of his quads. But right here, because of this conditioning that he has, he looks probably better than anybody else, really. And uh, Danny, this is the photo that he uploaded on his IG. This is him. His back looks really good here, really thick. The lats are looking insane and everything. Just very good back. But on the stage, because of the lack of the conditioning, I mean, I don't know if I should say lack of the conditioning, I would just say the conditioning that the Raj brought was much better than his. So that's about it. I mean, as far as the shape and the completeness of the physique, I think Dan is looking better. I mean, I think he's better bodybuilder overall, classic physique competitor, whatever. But uh, right here in this show, because of the conditioning that the Raj brought, this guy may end up actually being second. But look at him, he's a really big potential, he's actually a pretty young guy. So he has a bright future ahead of him in bodybuilding, not only classic physique, he may switch to 212 or open eventually, I hope so. i like to see more of these classic physique competitors actually switch and move on to the, to the bigger categories, right? Because some of them are not really suited for classic physique and some of them are actually too big and have the potential to be Mr. Olympia winners, right? Because that's much bigger title, let's be honest, you're gonna get more respect by being the Mr. Olympia Open winner than Classic Physique Mr. Olympia winner, I mean, let's be real, let's let's just not joke about it, that would be Arnold Schwarzenegger, that's Dorian Yates, that's Lee Hain, that's Ronnie Coleman, and then you, just imagine that stuff, that, that's just crazy, so I mean, compared to the Classic Physique, so I would like to see these bodybuilders, these Classic Physique competitors move to the Open, the ones that are actually able to compete there, for example, Chris Bumstead turned pro in the Open. He would be probably great for the Open, but he would have to add so much mass and he would have to put a lot of stress on his kidneys and as you know, his kidneys are not healthy genetically, so he probably will never do that. And he's also very well suited for the classic physique. So I would like him to stay there, but I would like to see guys like here, Danny, and his last name is actually Yunan, not Yudin. I mixed him up with uh, Vlad Yudin from Generation Iron, sorry about that. So he would be great for the Open, and just like Stanimal, who actually switched to the Open. So I'm looking forward to seeing him in the Open, and hopefully more guys later, but as for now, Romanian Pro is on. I have Arash Akbar winning it. In this pose right here, probably not, but he is sharper overall, and I think he was gonna pull the win in the end of the evening, so we'll see about that. As soon as it happens, I will update you guys, so stay tuned, subscribe. Alright, so next up we have Sajuk McMillan and his hotel room physique update. So he posted this video to basically tell us that he's in shape a day before the show, in case everything goes wrong, like he says. He said this before, I made a video about it, when he explains why he is usually uh, in bad shape at some of the competitions, in most of the competitions, and he says that's because of the anxiety, so his body doesn't work well under the anxiety and uh, his body just gets watery like in a couple of hours before the show, 
So he kind of gives us a proof that he's actually in shape before the show. So here you can see that he actually is. This is a good enough shape uh, for him to win the Romania Pro. And if he shows up like this, he will win. Undoubtedly, nobody else can, can challenge him because this guy is just Mr. Genetics. I mean, look at this. Look at the bellies all over the place. Everything is just spot on. If he came conditioned the Mr. Olympia ones, he would be the Mr. Olympia winner. But we said that many, many times before. And uh, this guy right here, Regan Grimes, is going to be also the Romania Pro. Now, competing against Cedric, he doesn't have big chances to win the show. Of course, Cedric is going to blow him away. But he's a youngster, you know, he's like 26 right now. So he has a lot of time ahead of him to, you know, to improve, to become bigger, more matured and so on. I think this is his most recent physique update where you can see his conditioning that is actually looking pretty good. But it's not really that tight, crisp conditioning that Dorian Yates was talking about. If you ask Dorian, he would probably say this is like four weeks out for him or something. And I don't know if that's really true, but... He, Gregor is conditioned. He's definitely conditioned. He is not uh, watery or fat or anything like that. He is in condition and he has an amazing shape. That's what sets him apart from the others. And uh, by the words of Jay Cutler, he is our future Mr. Olympia winner. That's really a huge statement to make, but that Jay Cutler, he usually is right about these things. He has an eye for this and basically when he sees the potential in terms of structure and uh, muscle size, Really, the ability to add muscle quickly, which is something that Regan definitely has, especially considering the way he's training, and he's training very lightly with a lot of pumping up, and he's actually growing from that, which is not something most people can do. So considering that, he has the ability to grow, and when he grows big enough, he'll probably be a good contender for the Mr. Olympia title one day, not exactly right now, he's too young, 26 is too young, maybe when he's 30, 30 something, We'll see about that, but as for now, Romania Pro, he can crack the top three or something, but uh, to win the show, no, no, not against Cedric, no way, but still, uh, for a 26-year-old looking like this, it doesn't really matter what show he wins or where he places, in a couple of years, we'll see this guy, you know, winning big shows and uh, potentially placing in the top spots at the Mr. Olympia, I'm looking forward to seeing that, and I'm also looking forward to seeing him at the Romania Pro, Finally, now, after seeing him at the Mr. Olympia 2018 in classic physique, now he's going to be like 20, 30 pounds bigger or something and probably in better shape. So I'm looking forward to seeing him once again and uh, that's about it, about this uh, Romania Pro. Uh, actually, as far as the competitors, <laughs> we also have another thing for the Romania Pro and that will be guest posing of Brandon Curry, the Mr. Olympia winner. So Brandon is, you know, not in Kuwait anymore. He is training, but I'm sure he's taking it easy. He's probably just cruising with the gear. I'm sure he's not off completely considering the way he looks right now. I'm sure he's not blasting it currently because why would he do that? He needs to save his body for as long as possible. Longevity is the name of the game for him, being the Mr. Olympia winner. Also, if you guys didn't watch the interview, the new interview with Valuetainment uh, YouTube channel, the one that uh, has done an interview with uh, Dorian Yates and Phil Heath, now they just uploaded a video of an interview with uh, Brandon Curry where he talked about Phil Heath, his relationship with Phil Heath and about Dorian Yates and his comments about Brandon's physique. So if you guys are interested in about little drama, but it's not really drama, with Brandon it's never drama. He's always, you know, calm when he talks about this stuff, he's very politically correct. It's a little bit boring to be honest, but he's a true gentleman, so... Props to him for that, for not being uh, easily pissed off, like his coach is, for sure, Abdullah actually said some bad things about Dorian, I made a video about that, but if you guys want to check out the video interview, you should check it out, as you can see, Brandon is looking amazing here for a guest posing for an off-season, and we'll see him at the Mr. Olympia next year, hopefully he'll improve his legs, which are looking very small right here, but yeah, very good shape for an off-season. By the way, totally off topic, this has nothing to do with recent uh, events, I just saw this photo of uh, Sergio Olivia and Samir Banut. So Samir Banut, I mean, he's looking amazing and everything, but look at Sergio here. This is why everybody is saying that, they, that the Sergio is their favorite bodybuilder and that he's probably one of the most genetically gifted bodybuilders of all time. For that era, for that age, look at his shoulders, God, look at the arms, the, the, the fullness of the biceps, the forearms. The small, tiny waist. The cows are also very big. I mean, just 
Mr. Genetic, seriously, this guy is so genetically blessed, and I hope to see a part of his genetics in his successor, his son, Sergio Olivia Jr., and have a physique update of him as well, which I will show you just in a moment, but as for now, I, I want you to admire Sergio Olivia's physique a little bit longer, so just look at those muscle bellies, look at that chest, it's so wide. I mean, that's something about, the, probably about the training that uh, guys did back in the day, you know, wide grip bench press and uh, the pullovers and uh, uh, flies on a flat bench and that stuff. I mean, it doesn't really make sense, <laughs> any logical sense really, but sometimes we just don't understand things and the fact that we don't understand them doesn't really mean that uh, they're not right. Because all these guys are swearing in these exercises that they are actually widening up their chest. And as you can see, Serge's chest and also Arnold's chest are just super wide and you don't see that in today's bodybuilders ever. And it's sometimes because of the competitors in back in the day didn't have shoulders, but right here you can see that Serge has an amazing set of shoulders and wide chest as well. So what is the thing? You tell me. Anyways, let me show you this uh, physique update of his son, Sergio Olivia Jr. And as you can see right here, he's hitting the abs and thighs pose. And he says this is probably his worst pose and he's trying to improve on it. He's looking much better than this, but this is the, the most recent physique update. We will see him in the Arnold Classic, actually. He'll probably not win it, because that's gonna be Big Ramy and Sean Roden. So, he's not on that level, he's not that caliber. But this guy has potential, really. I don't really see the reason why he's not placing... Why he cannot become one of the top placing guys in the future, but... He still needs a lot of work to do, and he's not young, really. He's like 36, 37, maybe, like Brandon Curry or something. So, you know, it's going to be a lot of work for him to grow more. But the genetic potential is there, definitely. Probably not as good as his father, but uh, still, very good bodybuilder. A professional bodybuilder, Mr. Olympia contender. Not the top Olympia contender, but he was the Mr. Olympia, based on points, actually. Nathan Diash didn't like that, and uh, never mind. Anyways, guys... Uh, that's gonna be it for this video, and I will leave you with another video that you probably haven't seen before. It's from 2003 Mr. Olympia Expo, and it is actually Sergio Olivia himself giving an interview. So I will leave you with that, guys, and you guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more of these kind of bodybuilding videos, and uh, like the video if you enjoyed it, and guys, do you miss those days, pre-Olympia days, where we had news every single day? I was making 10-minute videos every single day about the news. Right now, there isn't really much going on in bodybuilding. I need to come up with the subjects, with the topics. If you guys think of something interesting, suggest it down below in the comment section. I got some of the ideas from you that I wrote down that I'm gonna make in the next couple of days, probably, as soon as I get some time. So guys, once again, like the video, subscribe, and enjoy this next video that I'm gonna play for you right now. Bye-bye. We're with Sergio Oliva, one of the all-time greats of the bodybuilding scene, and we're at the Mr. Olympia weekend in Las Vegas in 2003. Sergio, you're still active because you're about to bring out a new book, right? Oh, yeah, we're working in the new books, uh, which is uh, going to be the Sergio Oliva, the myth, and everything going to come out there. Very good, so you're not exactly taking it easy. Well, no, 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 I, exactly, I never take it easy. I'm always bowing here and then over there. I always do something. But we want to work in the book because uh, everybody wants to know what happened by a lot of things. And I, I guess the best way for me to uh, communicate with the uh, public is going to be through their book. Excellent. So what do you think of the present scene and the present competitors now? They're tremendous. They're tremendous. There's a uh, lot of change, a lot of different things. And uh, I'm, I'm telling you, these uh, young guys today, they are incredible. <laughs> different time. <laughs> do you think any of them's ready to knock Ronnie off his throne? Well, that, uh, I don't know about that, it's hard to say that, but uh, they're going to have a lot of good competitors. A lot, a lot of good young boys, they're going to show up tonight. Excellent. Well, thank you very much indeed for talking to us.